Paul Emile Cabis was a prominent French painter born on March 7, 1869 in Nantes, France. He is best known for his idical and luminous painting depicting figures in natural and ethereal settings. Cabis displayed a talent for art from a young age and pursued formal training at the Academy and Julian in Paris. He studied under renowned artists such as William Adolphe Bogebo and Tony Robert Fleury, who had a significant influence on his artistic development. Cabis excelled in his studies and quickly Janet recognition for his skill and technique pursuit. Early in his career, Cabis primarily worked in the academic style, producing historical and mythological scenes. However, it was he later worked that granted his the most acclaim around the turn of the 20th century, he shifted his focus to work painting scenes of young women and children in dreamlike and postal setting. Often surrounded by nature, Cabis was deeply inspired by the classical tradition and drew influence from the work of Jean Baptiste Climet, Carrot, and Jean Francois Mallet. His paintings often featured disliked and ethereal figures basking in natural light and ex exuding a scenes of ter tranquility. His masterful use of light and shadow created a luminous quality in his work, adding to the ethereal charm. One of Cabe's most famous paintings, September Morn, 1912, which depict a young woman standing West deep in water, bathed in soft morning light. The painting caused a sensation when it was exhibited at the Salon des Artistes France Q in Paris, partly due to his depiction of nudity. Despite the controversy, the painting became in iconic and widely reproduced. Today, Cabis paintings can be found in major museums and collections worldwide, including the Musée d'Orsay in Paris, the Metropolitan Museum of Art in New York. Paul Emel Cabis passed away on May 10, 1937, leaving behind a rich artistical legacy. His painting remained beloved by art enthusiasts and collectors alike, and his contribution to the France French art scenes have secured him a lasting place in the annual of art history.